So in this video, I want to talk about the NK cell, the natural killer cell. So the natural killer cell is a lymphoid cell. So it comes from the lymphoid progenitor, the same progenitor that gives rise to the T and B cell. But in contrast to the T and B cell, it's not a part of the adaptive immune system. It's part of the innate immune system because it uses germline encoded receptors, not antigen-specific receptors as the T and B cell uses. It's found in the blood, spleen, and liver. It makes up about 10% of the lymphocytes in the blood. And its major functions are, number one, producing cytokines, mainly interferon gamma, and, as the name already implies, killing target cells. And it uses perforins and granzymes, similar to the CD8 T cell, to kill the cell. Perforins just perforate the cell, as the name already implies, and granzymes are proteases that induce apoptosis. So the next question is, how does the NK cell recognize its target cell? How does it know which cell to kill? If you compare it to a CD8 T cell, which uses a similar mechanism to kill a cell, it's way different how those two cells recognize its target cells. The CD8 T cell is very straightforward, as the CD8 T cell has a T cell receptor that will recognize a specific antigen presented via MHC class 1. However, the NK cell does not have an antigen-specific receptor. So how does the NK cell figure it out? Well, that's a little bit about a good cop, bad cop story. So you can think about the NK cell having two hands, a good hand and a bad hand. The good hand is always going to try to convince the bad hand not to kill. And the bad hand is kind of like a pistol. It's always ready to shoot immediately. So there's always going to be a voting system. One is going to win, either kill or not kill. So let's look here at a target cell and at an NK cell. So what you find at the surface on the NK cell are activating receptors and inhibitory receptors. So you can think about these activating receptors as a pistol, the one that want to kill. And the inhibitory receptors are the ones that don't want to kill. So if there are lots of activating receptors engaged with activating ligands on the target cell, then the cell might get killed. If there's a lot of inhibitory receptors engaging with inhibitory ligands on the target cell, then, then the signal don't kill will win. So what are these activating and inhibitory receptors looking for on the target cell? Well, let's start with the inhibitory receptors. That are the good hands. So what they are always looking for, this good hand is always looking for MHC1. So it's going to say, oh, this cell has MHC1, you're fine. Let's go on to the next. Oh, you have MHC class 1, you're fine. Don't kill. MHC1 is a molecule that is expressed on every nucleated cell. So if a cell is healthy, it should have MHC1, so it should not be killed. Well, you could argue if a cell is infected with a virus, it still has MHC1, but it presents its antigen via MHC1, and then the CD8 T cell is taking care of it. So we can say a cell that expresses MHC1 is either healthy or, if it's infected, the CD8 T cell will take care of it. So the NK cell actually focuses on cells that do not express MHC1. When does a cell not express MHC1? Well, for example, if it has been transformed and it's a tumor cell, or if it has been infected with a virus and the virus downregulated MHC class 1. This happens very often. A virus infects a cell and the virus is not stupid. The virus knows that it's going to show up on MHC class 1 and the CD8 T cell will take care of it and kill it. So what the virus does is just downregulate MHC class 1 to, be, to make sure that it's not going to be presented and going to be killed with a CD8 T cell. But we are also not stupid. So we have NK cells that are the backup plan for the CD8 T cell, which take care of things that do not express MHC1. So you can think about it like a virus would kidnap a cell. If you want to be a successful virus and successfully kidnap a cell, you would like to make sure 
that the cell cannot scream. So you need to put something in its mouth, and that's just down-regulating MHC class 1. That's the smartest way to make sure that this cell cannot report that there's something going on wrong here inside the cell. Let's look next what the activating receptor, the one that would like to kill the cell, is looking for on the target cell. It's looking for so-called activating ligands. So once a cell is virally infected or transformed, the cell is stressed and starts to express so-called activating ligands, the most famous being MIG-A. So once there's engagement between the activating receptor and the activating ligand, the K-cell is going to try to kill the target cell. So we know now what these inhibitory receptors and these activating receptors look for on the target cell. But let's also see how such a scenario looks when an NK cell eventually will kill or not kill. So let's look at a typical kill scenario, which I have drawn here. So a typical kill scenario would be if a cell is infected with a virus. It downregulates MHC class 1, so you don't have here any MHC class 1. And because it's a stressed cell, it's going to express an activating ligand. So the NK cell is going to look with its good hand for MHC class 1, nothing around. So the pistol immediately comes out, and it actually founds its ligand. So this is going to drive the signal, kill this cell. So how would a don't kill scenario look like? Well, here you could imagine you have a healthy cell, it's not stressed, it would not express any activating ligands, it has its MHC on the surface, MHC1, so the good hand is going to screen for MHC1, it's going to find it, there is no ligand for the activating receptor, so there will be no killing, so that would be a typically don't kill scenario. However, I want to mention that this is certainly simplified. In real life, it's going to be a voting system. There will be engagement with the activating receptors. There will be engagement with the inhibitor receptor, but one is going to win over the other. So it's a real voting system. So what I show here are the receptors on the NK cell and the respective ligands, because so far we only talked about inhibitor receptors, activating receptors, but did not mention yet the names. So I list here just the ones that are the most important and that everybody should know. So on the NK cell, a very important activating receptor is NKG2D. So this is an example of an activating receptor. And this will interact with a very famous activating ligand, the MIG-A, A for activating. We already mentioned a very important ligand for the inhibitor receptor, which is MHC class 1. And inhibitor receptors are referred as killer immunoglobulin-like receptors, which are a famous family of inhibitor receptors. And those inhibitor receptor ligand interaction will prevent the NK cell from killing its target cell. The last point I want to make is talking about ADCC, a specific type of NK cell killing, which refers to antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity. And so this is another way how an NK cell can very efficiently kill a target cell. So it happens if a virus infects a cell that there are viral antigens showing up on the surface of the cell. This happens particularly with enveloped viruses. So eventually in this immune response, you're going to have antibodies against these antigens, like IgG antibodies, that will cover the surface of the target cells. So the NK cell is equipped with FC gamma receptors, which in those FC gamma receptors that the NK cell expresses are called CD16. And so once there is engagement with the FC gamma receptor, with the antibody on covering the target cell, this is also going to be an activating signal, meaning that this is going to thrive killing of the target cell by the NK cell. So this is just another way to have 
and activating receptor ligand interaction via the FC gamma receptor and the antibodies that are bound to antigens on the target cells. So just know that this again can be inhibited by MHC class 1 inhibitory receptor interaction. So this pair, the FC gamma receptor with the antibody bound to the antigen on the target cell, is just a specific way of an activating receptor ligand interaction that thrives in case cell killing. So this concludes the video on NK cell and its function, particularly focusing on inhibitory and activating receptors on the NK cell.